Or he's doing that because I am is how you say who you are. If I wanted to say I'm a chef, I so, can't say it in some other way. It's not true. I can't say I have to not use the word I am in order to not claim to be God. I have to I don't use, think it. it's, it's a structure of language. If I am the bread of life, you say I am the bread of life. Mm. It's, I, I mean, I think we're reading into John to say that. And, and to, to right. challenge you a bit, if mm -hmm. go and me through the book of John means it's me, I'm the one, I'm the one we're talking about. And in John does 8, 58... Does echoing mean when speaking of Jehovah in Isaiah, does that mean he's just saying it's me or is he referring to well, he's saying, name or... He's There's doing a lot the same kind of thing. Like, right. like you go back to Deuteronomy 6, I am... So why would John use that same sort of pattern? Because that's the language of the day. The 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 guy who got healed of blindness, it yeah. says he went around saying egoami, egoami. He was repeating it over and over again because it's common vernacular to say it's me. That, that I mean, I'm just that's what he was doing. John was not throwing that word on there to do something special. It's common vernacular. I say I can say I am from oh, United States. And also, it's, it's interesting to see that all the I am's are only in the Gospel of John. Why not yeah. the synoptics? There are some other egoists. Because there's a different synoptics. purpose. John states it, yeah. doesn't he? John is high Christology. Yeah. So yeah. it, it yeah, makes sure. sense that he would use so that. It's a top down yeah. rather than a bottom up. Yeah. So even if you look at the intro, you spoke about a genealogy. Uh, so it starts from the bottom and then goes to the top. So as you go through this narrative, you start to conclude wait, this guy walks, on, this, this man walks on water. Mm -hmm. He yeah, speaks, high Christology. To, the, he speaks yeah. to the wind. Uh, this isn't yeah. uh, John, I'm speaking yeah, yeah. in the synoptics now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. There's, a, there's a development that it starts from the bottom out to the top, but John comes from a different perspective. He doesn't even speak about the birth of Jesus. He no. starts no. in Genesis 1, in the beginning. Yeah. Which, if I hear that, what do I think of? Genesis 1. So in no, the but beginning if you... was God. Yeah. Are you yeah. with him, by the way? No, no. Because he doesn't <laughs> agree with you, I'm pretty confident. <laughs> <laughs> just, just to say, he. he some things, maybe. Yeah, maybe, yeah. yeah. Sorry to be dismissive there, but I'm, you, you don't know what I'm thinking. I don't. I don't. Know. So you can't assume. I agree. agree. Okay. What I was uh, going to say so is that there are passages in John yeah. which clearly indicates that Jesus is not Almighty God. Because if you look at John 17, 3, where he says, "This is eternal life that they may know you, the Father, the only true God," he's directing the the Almighty percent. God uh, uh, yeah. identity which to is that equality again. Sorry, which one? Wait, you're trying to. But in the, so the, which passage, one? the passage you quoted, he yeah. said, and, and that the, the one you sent. Yeah, exactly. So you can't no, divorce those. No, 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 no. He said, he said uh, you the only true God and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. Mm -hmm. So you see, he identifies the Father as the only true God and himself as a Christ. Except in, except in John, as we went through in chapter 5, where he calls God his Father. Are you a Muslim, by the way? Yes, I am. Okay. okay. So when so he calls him his Jesus Father... Jesus a Muslim? Yes, he was, according to me. Right. Yes. Okay. What does Muslim mean? One that submits. Thank you. Did he submit to one God? Well, he submitted to the Father. Is Allah a Father? In the Bible, he's. Is Allah a Father? I have just told you in the Bible. You're looking. What you're doing is you're juxtaposing the language of the Bible on yeah. the Quran. We can't do that. Well, you're, what you're doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm not. I quoted the Bible. No, I did not even quote the Quran. I did not quote the Quran. I quoted only the Bible. Jesus he asked me if I was a Muslim. Yes. So I said, based on me, remember I said the words, based on me, and based on the Quran, he's a Muslim. Yes. What does a Muslim mean? One who submits to one God. Yes, exactly. Because throughout the Bible, he actually worships God and he tells others to worship his Father only. You don't have to convince us because we're Unitarians, he's a Trinitarian. Yeah, but Unitarians. They, they will say that the Father is the only true God, right? Yes. They wouldn't consider Jesus as God. No. So which is, like, like I said, the only difference here is the term Father. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And to me, the term Father, if it denotes God, I have no issues. We're not going to convince each other. You know what I mean? No, no, no. I get it's just terminology. Because you know, the Hebrews use the term Father for God. So it is their language and they used it. Yeah. But yeah, I totally agree. I will disagree with the Trinitarian more than the Unitarian. For me, it's confusing. If you're interested, I mean, I normally do. This is a podcast that I focus on Unitarian Christians, but I do an actual episode where I talk about John 8:58. And it's kind of funny. They have little Darth Vader sound. I'll message you on there. Oh, yeah, yeah, please do. But, um, we can talk. Yeah. Are we good? I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think we're going to. 
Agree. Gonna land. <laughs> no, no. You know, it, it gets very technical, and oh, yeah. you know, we're not gonna get books out. No, no, no. You know. But it's, it's so, what was your name? By the way, look, I'm a Muslim. I read the Quran. Yeah, yeah. You both read the same Bible, but then you come to the conclusion. He comes to the conclusion. Well, God is a Unitarian God. As well, no, no. What I'm what, saying is that name, Hashim. Hashim, nice and, to meet. And you are Paul. Paul yeah. But I'm just trying to understand, you know, because they you read the same Bible, mm. you read the same Bible, well, but you know, both. I don't know what Bible you read. Yes. Well, it has to be the same, yes. unless they wrote their own Bible. The Unitarians do read the same Bible. You should know that. Well, I do know that, but... Okay. So why are you questioning? Well, I don't, I don't, he wasn't I'm sure just saying I don't know what Bible you read. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but, but have you ever come across... Sure. Have you ever sure. come across any Unitarian who reads a different Bible? I'm not talking about the Jehovah's Witnesses. Not really, no. <laughs> exactly. Right. Fair enough. So there's no way... Yeah, yeah. yeah. So what I'm saying, I'm trying to understand why the most important thing in anyone who believes in God is mm. God, yeah? Mm. Anyone who believes in religion, the most central thing is God. Mm. Now you both read the same book, but you come to the same conclusion as to who's God. Are there different Muslims? There are, and they all come to the conclusion that there is only Allah. <laughs> but they, they read the they same read the same Quran. To different opinions, no, 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 no. They read the same Quran, but as far as God, no, no. As far as God is on concerned, the they agree, but on the not essential, they disagree. Paul, what you if the central doctrines they agree upon, which you would call essentials then that is a key thing, isn't it? If you differ on God itself, then the entire structure breaks down. See what I mean? So you can, I mean, even, even within the Trinitarians, there's differences, isn't it? Yeah? Yeah, so I'm not talking about those nuances or those differences, which, are, which doesn't hinge upon the central doctrines. But what I'm saying is that if you differ on God itself, then to me, it seems like two different religions. Yeah, yeah? Well, they are two different religions, even though they both read the same book. Well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't with same, his belief, I wouldn't consider him a Christian. You wouldn't? No. Why? He a, worships the same God as Jesus, so why would he not consider him as a Christian? Do you worship Jesus? No, he's the same God as Jesus. I Jesus. He doesn't I, worship I, Jesus. I no, no, he said, I, you were not listening. I said, he worshiped the same God as Jesus did. Oh, okay. Yeah? Right. Do you do? Do you worship the same God as Jesus? I worship Jesus. Okay, when did Jesus ever claim that he worships a triune God? Never. Who did Jesus point to? Good question. Himself. No, 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 no. Come on. Come on, man. Yeah. Okay, I'll tell you what. I'll give you the most important prayer. In, in Jesus taught one key prayer, the Lord's Prayer. Okay, because the, the explicit question to him was, how shall we pray? And what did Jesus teach them? Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thank you. He said, our Father in heaven. No, no, I as a Muslim, when I use the term father so from... Jesus tells me to call God father. Look, brother, if you're going to... If you're going to <laughs> no, no, if you're going to be bogged down on the term father, the Hebrews use the term well, you, father. You're saying that Jesus was a Muslim. Yeah. Right? And that he's directing to the Muslim God. Yes. Okay, but he calls God father. Yes, in where? Is that okay in Islam? Yeah, where does he call God father? You just asked me to say how he directs them to pray, and he says, "Our Father who art in heaven." Yeah, but where does he? Where, where is a prayer based from? From the Bible, right? Good. Jesus said. Good. It's from the Bible. Right. According to the Bible, the language of the Hebrews, yes, mm -hmm. when they actually refer to God Almighty, they refer to Him as the Father. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have no issues with. If, if, you, if you allow me, if you allow me to finish, I'll, I'll explain that exact point. I have no issues if they are referring to God Almighty as Father in the language. The language of the Quran is Arabic. Mm -hmm. Yes? In Arabic, we use the term Rabb or, or Allah mm -hmm. to denote to God. Okay? Because of this discrepancy or the rather the, um, the, uh, the, the understanding of the term Father which denotes many things. Same thing with the term Elohim. You can refer mm -hmm. to false gods as Elohim. You can refer to an angel as Elohim. Yes? Same thing with the term God. So all this thing can refer to so many things. But you see the term Allah only refers to Almighty God. You cannot refer the term Allah to anyone else other than Almighty God. So Islam is very clear when it comes to denoting who God is and referring to him who God is. So you see there's no discrepancy there. But the term father was also used for Abraham, you know. Abraham is known as the uh, father of all nations. Does that make him God of all nations? I didn't say that. Exactly. So what do you look at? What, I'm saying what do you look is, at? The context. Context is key. Is Jesus tells me to pray and call God Father. Yeah. And I'm saying that, are you allowed to do that as a Muslim? No, I think the question should, to you should be this. You're not answering the question. Actually, I did, but you're repeating the same you're question not. which I've already answered. 
No, because what I'm saying is, you're asking me to follow Jesus. Yes. And Jesus tells me to call God Father. No, no. Pray to him and exactly. say Father. And I'm asking you as a Muslim, are you allowed to do that? As a Muslim, as a Muslim, I follow the, the Quran, not the Bible. Okay? okay? If I follow the Bible, then I would use the term Father. But because I follow the Quran, I use the term Allah. Is that clear now? Now, when I ask you a question, as you as a Christian, when you so pray... You Okay. When Jesus asked, sorry, when Jesus was asked, whom shall we pray to? And you correctly mentioned the Lord's Prayer. Mm. He says, our Father in heaven. Mm. Jesus did not teach you our Father, Son, and Holy Spirit in heaven. So even the prayer, you're supposed to direct to only one person, not a tri-personal God. Except for when he told his disciples to baptize, baptize in the name, singular, nomos, yeah. name. Yeah. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy yeah. Spirit. Yeah. Did he say so, the three are one? He didn't. The name is nomos, which is singular in the Greek. I know, but so there's a name. Yeah. So, so even if you use singular and he says that's fine. Father, Son, if you, if you, and Holy Spirit. If you follow the three persons, are they one person? So if you have one name, but you have three persons, it's still three persons, right? So if all of you, let's say the three men here were called Abraham, you're still three persons. Doesn't matter if you have the same name. The question is this: when Jesus was directing his prayer and teaching others how to worship and pray. He always directs it to one person, not three persons. Do you agree with that? Um, I think Jesus calls us to pray to the Father. Uh, we, see, we see in Acts that yeah. uh, Stephen, when stoned, calls out Lord Jesus. Um, My question see, was about so, Jesus. You're not listening. My question is, well, did Jesus you can't ever... Just pick apart no, I can. I can uh, ask. I can the make... Quran tells me to read the angel, does it not? Yeah, what is the angel? The gospel. No, yeah? no. The That's where you're wrong. Injil is a revelation to Jesus. Right. When, did the, when, did the, when were the Gospels written? So what is the revelation? When were the Gospels written? After Jesus, right? Mm -hmm. So what, re what was revealed to Jesus was in his time, not after him. Mm -hmm. So even your understanding of Injil is wrong. I know many Christians spread yeah. this false uh, understanding. But what I'm saying is that Jesus told you to worship and pray to only one person, not three persons. Okay. Yeah, Paul, if yeah. you want to go, no problem. No, I don't. We can talk a bit more, a bit more but... Yeah. We did hijack a conversation and make it into a different conversation. No, no, after you spoke to him, you said no, no, he'll no, speak no, to me no, no. and then you spoke to me. He did turn to you. I'm exactly, like, oh. yeah. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Uh, yeah. It wasn't an accusation. But you, yeah, yeah. Well, do you understand where I'm coming from? Because I'm looking at the Bible. Well, you're, you're Muslim. Yeah, so I'm look, but I'm looking at the Bible mm -hmm. and everywhere where I've read in the Bible, Jesus and all the prophets of the Bible, including all the prophets of the Old Testament, they only worship one person, not three persons. Yeah, we have already been yeah. to that discussion. He doesn't answer. I asked him. Actually, asked it's him three times. He says he answers. But he hold on, it's on camera. You can go home and watch it. Maybe you don't. It doesn't register with you. But I've answered it three times. I've answered it all three times. Uh, join the queue. You're next. That's it. Then stay outside the queue. So my question. Look, I've, I've, Paul, I've answered the question. If you want, watch it on the camera. It's been recorded. Okay, and we'll see who's, well, the, who's speaking the truth. The I told you already. I I, I've answered it. What's the what's the he, yeah, he what's the channel? Yes or no? You said you don't want to join the queue, so go ahead. He told, he told, he told me Jesus. What's, the, what's your channel? What it's on Dawa Wise. Watch it. I, I can I can guarantee you. I, can, I no, he wants to stay in the background. That's no, no, no. that's his problem. So I've answered it. If you don't want to accept it, that's a different thing. Okay, I have answered it. You I said I read the Quran, not the Bible, right, for okay. my for my salvation. For me, even if the Bible didn't exist, it wouldn't matter. Okay. And then you're For not me, authority to talk to a Christian about, about what Jesus says and does. Why not? Why can't I question you based on the Bible only? But you said you don't you don't follow the Bible. I don't, but you do. I do. So why should I why should I use the Quran when you're following the Bible? I said the Bible tells me to call God Father. My friend, it's logical for me prayer, to quote the Bible whoa, because you follow whoa, it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, go on. If I speak and then you just jump, you're yeah. not really listening to my response. And then Did you, I, I answered you three times about the father, you didn't listen. So you're guilty of what you're accusing I me of. I just don't think you answered the question. Yeah, maybe not to your liking. Well, I'm not here to please it, you. It definitely I'm here to please Almighty God. Sure, sure. Good. It definitely wasn't to my liking, but yeah. Of course it won't be to your liking because I'm a Muslim. Yeah. yeah? So you see, Jesus and all the prophets of the mm. Bible, they worship only one person, not three persons. The father. Yes. And I have no issue with the term Father, like I said, this is the term the Hebrews use for God Almighty, who is one person, not three persons. Even for Moses, even for Abraham, all of them, you know, they all said, even the Shema. In the Shema, you don't see three persons being worshipped, mm -hmm. yes? It's about Ahad, and Ahad here, when it's... when You the said Jesus never mentioned about uh, three or Father, Son, Holy Spirit. No, I didn't say and that. I said he never taught okay. anyone to worship three persons as God. 
Okay. So even, even the Matthew 28, 19, which you quoted, mm. yes, the Great Commission. Mm. You know, to me, when you look at all the different um, baptisms in the, in, the, in the New Testament, mm. not a single baptism from the many baptisms in the entire New Testament, not a single one of them uses this formula of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. What does that tell you? That's because they used Jesus. Right. No, no, and but because there, there was a baptism before, which was John's yeah. baptism. No, I'm talking about after. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm, talking, I'm talking about even Paul's baptism. In Acts. Yeah, I'm talking yeah. about Paul's baptism. Yeah, yeah. So even Paul did not use the three persons formula. What does that tell you? But either, Paul, either they rejected Jesus's command, or this came in later on. Paul, this was a uh, interpolation. Well, Paul mentions um, Trinitarian language in his epistles. Where did Paul say to worship a, Triune God? Away from uh, just ba baptisms. No, no, I'm saying, where did Paul say to worship a triune God? Well, he, he says, uh, like when he intros, uh, love from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Say again? So it, when he Sorry, what did his, he say, the love from? When he opens his epistles yeah. sometimes, he writes letters to these churches. Yeah. And he says, he, he, he gives out a blessing or whatever, and he says, um, he says, I, like, I greet you in the name of God the Father and in his son Jesus Christ. That so, doesn't mean he worships three gods. So well, it doesn't mean you that. Say, you're saying it doesn't mean that. Uh, I'm, tell, I'm telling I'm you. I'm saying in Paul, there is thought of a Trinitarian God. So when no. he says things like, um, there isn't, there's a the single. love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, um, that whole Trinitarian formula. No, no, this is, is you there, reading into no, it. This is you reading so into does it. Does the text say? Okay, what does Trinity first mean? What does it mean according to you? What do I think the Trinity is? Yeah. Define so, the Trinity. So God is one being who exists in three persons. Yeah, where is that in the Bible? Well, that formula is not in the Bible. Give me something close. Because you don't uh, have anything close to that. Well, you've got John 1, 1. No three, you've, no mention of three persons. You don't have to mention all, this is the thing with the Trinity. You don't have to in every passage. No, no, I'm saying the That's three the in one, one. That is a key formula, isn't it? The three persons are one being. Mm -hmm. So something close to that description is not found in any, any book of the Bible, including the Old Testament. Except for the baptism formula, which you said was an interpolation. Even that doesn't say the three are one. Well, it says name, nomos. Yeah, you keep saying that, but it doesn't say the three are one. Remember I showed you the nomos example? Nomos in Greek yeah. is name, it's singular. Okay, what is the name in of the, the Holy Spirit? Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. yeah, go on. In the name yes. of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yes. What is the name of the so Holy Spirit? why would he say that? Where what is, is, what is the name of the Holy from? Spirit? Where would this concept come from? You said the same name. I'm asking you, what is the name of the Holy Spirit? No, in the name. See, you don't know the name. No. You don't even know the name. Would you, why do I need to know the because name? Because you said it's a singular name. The name so what is, is a Yahweh. singular name? Oh, so anyone yeah. called uh, the Holy Spirit as Yahweh? No. Yes. No. Yes. Show me where I... So, so in Acts, does it not say you lied to the Holy Spirit? Where does you it... You lied to God. Wait, wait. Where does it so say... No, no, no. Where does it say that the name is Yahweh? Because you said singular name. Show me explicit passage in the entire Bible. In the name of the Father, and no one did. No one did. Spirit. No one baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. You keep repeating things which are not in the Bible. So Jesus, Jesus didn't say that in the Bible. Jesus never said to worship a triune God. Jesus never. didn't say in the Bible, be baptized in the name, singular. What was my the question Father, again? The Son, uh, and the Holy what Spirit. was my question? Let's see if you questions. remember, because you keep... We're asking different questions. No, no, we're you. asking the same question. You're, you're answering something else you I asked. You answer that question. I asked you. Did Jesus say that in the Bible? Acts 19. Yeah, I asked you, show me the name of the Holy Spirit as Yahweh in the entire Bible. And you keep the going Bible to the, the Holy Spirit Matthew 219. The that is a question. That was the base the of my question. The Bible calls the Holy Spirit God, right? No, the Bible doesn't call it Yahweh. By the way, God is not a name. You know that. God is a reference to a noun who is Almighty God. God itself is not a name. For example, you'll use the term Dios or Theos in Greek and maybe in German. That doesn't mean these are names. For you, you your name is Paul, but you are a man. Is man your name? No, it's not. So once again, where in the does New Jesus Testament does say, it say? Does Jesus say? What? Does Jesus say in Matthew to baptize in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit? Yeah, what does that mean? You're not answering my question. Man. I did. Because You're if not answering the question. Paul, if that is... It's a yes or no answer. Okay. Did he say it? Yes or no? Okay, in the Bible, according to... I'm answering. Did if you let me answer. All right. Okay. According to the New Testament, he said it. However, right. when you actually analyze it, because everyone either rejected his command of baptizing in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, or according many, to or according to many Christian scholars, this is an interpolation. Not me. Right. So yes? you believe it's an interpolation. By the way, 1 John 5, 7. 
the clear passage which shows the Trinity was an interpolation. Do you agree? Answer? Yes it's or no? Po it's possible. Yes or no? It's possible. No, no, answer yes or no, like the it's way you possible. wanted me to. No, you, you see, you don't like to be put in the, cro in the corner, right? It's possible. It's possible what? It's possible that the, uh, in the King James, right, or yeah. the Banzantine manuscripts, that that was added in. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Uh, For sure. When they heard this. Not yeah, yeah. Anyway. So this is one of the one of the baptisms in the uh, Acts 19:5. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Exactly, not in the Trinity's name. Right. Okay. Right. So what does that tell you? So if he says in Matthew to baptize in the name of the Father, the Holy, the Holy Spirit, and in Acts no, no. they're baptizing in. What was the command of Jesus? What was the command of Jesus <laughs> to baptize in whose name? This is in the name of the Father, the I Son, shall. and the Holy I Spirit. Shall. Paul, look, you're going against Jesus. You should be baptizing yeah. in all three names. Yes? We do. You don't? We do. Now you do, not in the Bible. Are you saying Paul knew You it's guys because, know better than Paul? No, it's because it's sufficient to baptize in the name of Jesus, because that's how the doctrine of the Trinity works. Okay, so it if it is sufficient, then no need for the Trinity if then. If he's saying baptize in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, yeah. but then in Acts they're baptizing in Jesus, they're saying it's the same. That means you're rejecting the command of Jesus. No, it doesn't. Okay, what does Jesus say to baptize in the name of? The what did Jesus? Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you. So, are you rejecting Jesus so when you baptize only if, in the name of Jesus? Said, if he said this to the apostles, yes, and, and they the, rejected and then, it, and then the apostles baptize in Jesus' name, so they're rejecting yeah. Jesus' command. No, they're not. Yes, they are. No. Okay. What, once you, again, what was the command you're, of Jesus? You're, you're, you're having to do this because you have a Quranic understanding, and you have a so Trinitarian you have a, understanding. I do. So I you, do. you read the Bible. Bible no, no, you read the Bible with the with the lenses of the church who brought the doctrine of the Trinity in the fourth century. It's not teach, taught by Jesus or any prophets in the Bible. We already established this Except because you because you fail. There and you say it's no, no, you fail. You, you fail to no show evidence. a single passage which actually confirms the Trinity in the Bible. Except you fail. You reject and say it's an interpolation. I reject. Do you reject it? The KJV well, passage, First John five seven. Yeah, I do reject it. So you wait, wait. When well, you reject well, it, what does on, it mean? Hold on, I didn't reject that one. Paul, Paul, I'm about, Paul, Paul. When you reject it, no, no, wait. When you reject it, what we does it mean? It's an interpolation, right? We were talking if about you reject Matthew. it, it means it's an interpolation. Am I right? Yes or no? It's a monologue. Yes or no? It's you don't like the yes or no now, do you? It's a monologue. No, it's a dialogue? No, it's not. You are evading the questions because you know it's going against the no. Trinity. Yes? Except for where Jesus mentions it in Matthew, which he said. It doesn't say three are one. It doesn't say three are one. So that, yeah, doesn't, that doesn't denote the Trinity. So it, unless it says three in one, you're just going to reject it. Wasn't that your definition of the Trinity? You can define things with all kinds of uh, uh, words and stuff. It doesn't. Not my definition. Your definition. You don't, you don't limit. You don't limit language to say, "Oh, well, you can't describe this." And no, but you you that. limit definitions. Well, you interpret definitions. Okay, so how do you interpret the Trinity? Well, I've already ex explained it. But that doesn't comply with John. Uh, jo uh, sorry, Matthew, Matthew. twenty-eight nineteen. It doesn't comply, because okay. if the three if the three are just three three people with one name, it means you are a polytheist who believes in three gods. Okay, no problem. Paul, I knew we would come to that conclusion. Well, you come to that conclusion. <laughs> well, you haven't got a defense. You're going away well, because you don't have an answer. No, what it... <laughs> you know, you get sucked into conversations here. Yeah. I was but going to go about in, an hour ago. In case you notice, not, none of the Muslims not, are interfering like the other Christians do. Sometimes when you have a conversation, it, is a, it's, it was a one-to-one. -one, yeah, yeah, okay. Yes, and I no, use I use listen. your Bible. I did not even use the Quran yet. Yes, I use the Bible to show you that from the entire Bible, not a single prophet, messenger, apostle, or disciple of Jesus Christ Except ever worshipped, ever worship a triune God, including Jesus Christ. So that is in my favor as a Muslim. But they don't because they all God either, because it, no, but Jesus Muslim calls, means one who submits. Jesus calls God Father, which you yeah, did he submit to the? Saying. You know, you're bogged down with the no. term Father. It only means Almighty God in the Hebrew term. Does it not? No, I don't. I don't okay. think it just. Did Jesus means have a God? God? I don't think it just means. Uh, okay, no oh problem. No problem. I don't accept. You don't think John 20 17 is the answer? I give you a reference once again. You haven't given me anything. I'll tell you what, why don't you give me a card and we can carry why on? Why don't you come back next Sunday? I live in Halifax. That's fine. Whenever you're here, Sorry. now that you're here, but okay, I I'll, it, I'll tell you what, before you go, yeah. tell me one thing. Did Jesus, during his ministry, worship a God? Yeah. Yes? Does God he worship? His does, does, God That's worship man, yeah. does God worship God? For you, he's fully God, right? He's not just a man. If the he's Lord just a man, you are no different Lord. to us. The psalm, the Lord yeah. said to my Lord. Yeah, so how many laws do oh, you yes. believe in? Watch this. One. How many laws do you believe in? Exactly. And who is that one Lord? The God of Jesus. Because if you read John 20, 17, it answers your question which you asked me about the Father earlier. 
He says to Mary Magdalene, I've not yet ascended. Go and tell my brothers, I go to my father and your, God, your father, mm -hmm. my God and your God. Mm -hmm. So Jesus is... But that's all right within the Trinitarian understanding. No, 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 no. You're, no, you're no, forcing no. things and, no. and saying, I proved this to you because of this, but no... You, By the way, really, did you understand John 20, really. 17, what he means? When he says, I go to my father and your father, he's not claiming to be the unique son. He's saying the father is also the father of all the believers. Do yes. you agree? And he also says, and the one... You, no, no. And what, what is the next? Well, the next thing is the is most important. Inflating equality. No, no, no. The next Which thing is, is the part most important. Of the dialogue they had in John five yeah. as well. When he says, "I so go to," you have to read the whole book yeah. and see John's argument. No problem. But By the way, you know. already conceded that Jesus worshipped a God, and Jesus Himself says, "I go to my God and your God." So who is Jesus' God? The Father. Good. Who is the Father's God? Now you see who's the eternal God. The reason He hasn't answered that really. question is because the the penny dropped. Not because really. the Father cannot have a God, because God, by definition, doesn't have a God. Yeah. But Jesus as a God, does well, this tell you that Jesus is not Almighty God, but the, the God that he worshipped is the Almighty God. Okay, Paul, you take care. Come to Islam, the true religion of Jesus. Okay? Alhamdulillah, you take care. Jazakallah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.